Okay, next up we're going to look at the top of our bodies, our heads and our shoulders. Rodders, I mean a lot of players suffer with, with problems moving the top of their bodies, but if I show you how I'll throw a dart, you yep. can then see we have our three, Jamie. Well that's pretty good, as in the head was dead still. You've got to keep the head still, because if the head starts to move, the body will move. The shoulders, it's got to say, it's all a pivot. And if you get the pivot right, this and these, these stay square, this stay still. Let me just get the darts out of the board. Now we're going to show you what some players do, and no doubt you amateurs do this as well, and this is wrong. What we're going to show you, just over-exaggerate the shoulder now, Jamie. You see a lot of players do this, and a few pros do it, to be quite honest. Right, now what happens is, stand there properly, right, that's where he is. He stands, now he moves his shoulder forward, can you see what happens? So then, it makes this hand, his brain tells this hand that you're going to pull this dart to the left in the fives. So then it makes this hand overreact, and that's where you get what we call a snatch, and if people are fighting it, and you're seeing people do that. So it's keeping your shoulder dead in line and keeping your head still. That's the main thing with your head and shoulders. So you need to keep it nice and still, that's the yes, key. Yes, yes. But don't tense up. Keep relaxed as well. Keep it still, keep relaxed. School's out.